Hello, some little fans. It's Game Heart, and welcome back to Trove. And welcome to Megalithic Update, which is a huge update for the consoles and a big one for the PC, on which we are playing right now. So, yep, that's why I'm near the dino made by Banya <laughs> with my dino tamer in this Javler costume. Yep, see, a new costume for my dino tamer. Even though it's not new, I got this from the Anibal contest. So it has also new dinos, like this one. Kinda reminds me of Primordial Dragon. <laughs> and this ulti with this interesting white dragon. Yeah, they kinda have this Primordial style. So dinos, many dinos. So I will speak about the stuff they added to the PC. Because they already have the stuff they added on consoles. So they added new dragons, new craftable dragons. Let us see them. So, three new craftable dragons. So, the first one is the Aurum, Keeper of the Histories. Which is not that expensive to craft, but we need to get the egg still. And I believe you get the egg with a new daily reward. Which you can see in these patch notes. Which will come in July, so new daily reward. Which will replay the daily chests. And I will make a video about them when they will come alive. So that's one dragon. So we have two dragons and two eggs here. So this one, the Pemblock dragon, the Tambi, oh god, <laughs> the Tambi Dian of the Western Peaks, and the egg. And they're pretty expensive, as you can see. Jesus, so much teeth feed and so much shapes on stuff. So here's the second one, the Fulgras. Fulgras? Okay, the Lightning Blade. Also pretty expensive, but the egg is more expensive. Jesus. It needs so much robotic salvage and the plasmic solution. Which by the way is also made from robotic salvage. Jesus. Pretty expensive dragons. But you can also can get them with this pack in the store. With the extra life pack called Mega Menagerie. So this pack can get the dragons, allies and other stuff. Also it's pretty awesome because you can donate money by buying this pack. So extra karma for you. For me it's a bit expensive. I really hope it will be 90 euros but it's 29 so it's too expensive for me. So most likely I will craft the dragons. So Epsi, there's a new stuff so far. So we see the dailies when they come. But also we have a quest chain. So the Dino Attack Quest Chain, which we will complete in this video. I will try my best. So the first quest in this quest chain is to defeat 50 green dinos. Archeo traps. <laughs> I cannot pronounce stuff, so they will be the green dinos. Which you can find in Desert Frontier. I simply advise you to go to the Desert Frontier to the Master World and simply kill the dragons there. So you don't need to search them. And for killing 50 of them you will get the 10 dragon coins. Which are useful if you're crafting dragons. So it took me around 1 hour to find them and it was pretty laggy, Jesus. Because many Travians are searching for them. So the second quest is to defeat the dinos in the caves. In the desert frontier. Which you can see here. So my tip is simply find a huge cave and run around killing them. They mostly respawn. Sipsy kind of reminds me of the deep charge quest line with the robots. So, so not very original to be honest, but but that's okay. I also mined some infinium for the weekly contest and some shape stone for the dragons. So when you get eight glittering hour shoes for this quest. Which is not that much. So on that quest took me around 15 minutes. So if you find a cave you're really lucky, you can do it pretty fast. So and the next one is to acquire 100 bleacher bones. You can farm them or you can buy them in the marketplace. So just simply search bones and buy them. And yep, I'm saving money for a llama. <laughs> So maybe in the next video I will be crafting a llama mount, maybe. So Epsi, just buy the bones or farm them if you have time. And the quest is done. 
and you get 5 kills just for that. That's okay, <laughs> I guess so. So the next quest is to do some cacti. So you need to kill 50 cacti mobs. Which are also on the desert frontier. Also you can kill them in the dungeons, they also count, which is pretty interesting. And also I want to say a huge thanks to Vanya Mladenev, to Felix and to Fabulous. Welcome back Fabulous, for helping me to find the cacti and dinos. Really huge thanks. So yep, I believe the cacti one is the most long and the most hardest one. So I'll be honest, it was kinda hard to find the cacti. I don't know, maybe I wasn't lucky, but... So, Yepsi, it took me around 40 minutes to get the Cacti. So, Yepsi, and for Cacti we got one day Pachan Pass. So, the next quest is to consume it. <laughs> Makes sense, doesn't it? And for that we're getting three Empower Gem Boxes. Which is pretty useful for people who need them. So, Yepsi, and the next quest to defeat dinosaurs in Kandoria. Jesus. <laughs> so, Yepsi. Another killing mob spray. Please kill me. So, yep, mostly killing mobs in this even change for three lapis bucks. 100 this time. So, I simply advise you to go to Uber 2, which is a Kandorian world, and simply search for the dinos. Also, a tip for the dinos the most dinos are near the spawn point. So, you can respawn after the time and they'll be again there. So I believe this one took me the longest. <laughs> so yep, see, it took me an hour to get the Kandorian Dinos. So yep, and the next one is to complete three star dungeons. For which you can go into normal spike or any other shadow tower. Because I believe it's the fastest method and it's not so laggy as the normal world. So yep, see, I was clearing the normal shadow tower for this quest. So you see, it took me a while. So the next quest is defeat three Tyrex in the leafy archipelags, archipelago, which is in drone world. So, so this one you can see there's a map. So yep, and here's the Tyrex. So we are in Uber 9, <laughs> using my Chloromancer, my main class, my max class. Almost 20,000, Jesus. Slepsy, two more to go. So, and here is the last one. For which you get, I don't know why, but wild cupcakes. That's strange. But, we're okay with that. They could give us some steed feed, which you need for the dragons. So and for the last one to place one block. Easy as that. And you get 50 dragon coins. Yepsy. And the question is done. <laughs> so the last prize of 50 dragon coins was for that. So Yepsy and Game Heart is done with the question. So and it took me together 4 hours to complete it. 4 hours being pretty laggy, so so maybe you can complete it far much faster. So you see that was a Dino Attack even chain quest. So do you like this quest chain? In my opinion it was more or less okay. It felt like a copy from the Deep Charge, so not much original. But we did that and we got some Dragon Coins. So you see that's the video. <laughs> So I wish you much luck with your event, quests and other stuff. Thanks for watching, till next time and juicy!